I have been so excited to spill the beans about this palette. I've had this in my hands for a couple weeks now, so I'm so excited it's been revealed that you guys can see it. Odin's Eye collaborated with Angelica to create a new palette for their legendary Diversa collection. If you've been watching my channel for the last few months, I have not talked about the previous legendary Diversa collection enough. Like, I literally cannot stop. I love those palettes so much. The quality was exceptional. The price was exceptional. The color stories were exceptional. And I'm gonna assume that this one's gonna be exceptional as well. Unless I've changed the dates since I'm filming this early, I don't have too much details. I believe this is launching on Valentine's Day, February 14th. I will put in the description box otherwise. And... It's been revealed today, and isn't it beautiful, right? So many of you guys are going to love this. Odin's Eye did send me this palette, but as always, my thoughts are completely honest and my own. I do have a discount code. I will have it on the screen right here and link down below. I believe if this is like the last collection, this palette will not be included in the discount. I could be wrong, but if it's not, everything else on the website should be. So let's get into the palette. They collaborated with the very colorful and talented Angelica and I'm so excited about it. I knew she would do a great job with this color story. She loves colorful makeup and she did not disappoint with this one. I believe it's going to be $34.90. Those were the prices of the previous Legendary Diversa palettes. Again, if I'm wrong, it will all be in the description box. I don't have that information at the current moment that I'm filming. And I'm gonna also assume it's limited edition just like the previous ones, which have since been discontinued. So for real, for real. Anyways, let's get into the palette, all of that good stuff. In the cute little card, listen to this. For this palette, I had a vision of a warm but still different color story that would suit both lovers of colors and lovers of neutrals. I love that. I wanted to create a color story I myself wish I had in my collection and that I wanted to share with you. I hope you'll have as much fun with this palette as I have and Angelica, we certainly will. So here's going to be the outer carton of the packaging right here. As always, Odin's Eye does a fabulous job with the artwork. And then here is the back. Uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to read the <laughs> ingredients. Really, really tiny letters, but whoever does their artwork needs a raise. Absolutely amazing. And then here is going to be the outer packaging of the collection itself. Really colorful, absolutely love it. And then the back here is going to have the names of the palette, everything that you need to know about it. So let's take a look at the inside. Let's do some swatches. When you open it up, it does have a mirror. And then boom, here's the palette. I can totally see neutral lovers liking this. Maybe not loving it. It's not super neutral, but there still are neutral tones to make certain aspects of this palette wearable. We have some fun colors. Love this color story. You guys know I've been loving green lately. We have some fun pops down here in the corner. There's lots and lots of mattes. We have five shimmers here. I'm gonna turn the lights down and let's get to swatching. Oh, but also it comes came with this. Is this supposed to be like a headband? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I was like a tie? Whatever this is. Oh, you could use it like as a, this thing. Okay, anyways, I look like a flight attendant. Here you can really see the true richness of the colors here in this palette. So we're gonna get, start off with Rebirth, Fluorescence, and Underworld. Okay, we have like these yellowy tones. So we have like a baby pastel kind of yellow. Ooh, this is like kind of a lid topper, but it does have a base. Then here is the third shade, a little bit deeper here. Almost a little pukey in the best possible way, right? Go into Decay, Golden Bridge, and then Moss. And what's it for? Finger. Ooh, Venom. This. Oh yeah, Venom <laughs> is screaming to me. So we have this nice mossy color, this kind of pukey shimmer, which is gorgeous. Then we have a green right here, a little bit of a mustard tone to it, and then our very, very vibrant green. I mean, I can't believe Odin's eye can produce these this quality for this price point. Continuing on, this shade could be difficult to work with. Typically, those are hard to work with. Ooh, this one's Oh, I definitely dug way too hard. That's really, really soft. You saw that. I made a mess. It all fell on my table. So maybe be gentle with that. I am currently pressing the shadow back in. We shall not waste it, but she a little messy. Anyway, so we have this dark green, very pigmented, transition color, mid-tone pink, and then there's that color, which a little chunky, but... 
She pretty. Don't press so hard. Learn from my mistakes. Then we have goddess, double-sided, river, and then soot. Look at those on my fingers. Look at this. Mmm. Okay, here we go. Looks good. Here we go. Oh, yes. That's like a nice multi-chromatic shade. And then soot. It's very, very, very pigmented. Very well thought out with the depths here. We have every level of depth. You can create lots of different looks. And then last one is complete. Nice and soft. Okay, it's like a gunmetal gray almost. Nice, very pretty. So we have a lot of options here to create a look. I'm really excited. This is the entire palette. Looks very, very pretty. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but I forgot to mention this. The style of packaging is different than the previous Legendary Diversa collection. Those are like more book style. This is similar packaging to the other Odin's Eye palettes that I have. Anyways, you guys know the drill. I'm gonna do one eye off camera and I will be back. I love this. So vibrant, so pretty. Okay, okay. Well, let me show you how I did this look. So I'm starting off with the shade Rebirth right here with a refer number 16 brush. I just wanted to see, you know, the opacity of it, what we could get from it. Side note, I'm using the ColourPop Party Proof Eye Base. I like it, but I feel like it makes my eyelids look dry, which goes away once we get darker colors on, but I feel like that dryness is kind of emphasized when I use a light powdery shade like this. But anyways, it didn't give me exactly as much pigmentation as I was hoping for, but it's still not bad. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of sheer, a little more sheer than I wanted, but it's still fine. Okay, so that's that. That's all I did with this shade. I just wanted to see that opacity. Next, we're gonna build. I'm gonna use some of Underworld just to see if there was a difference in tone. And I say this all the time, but with a lot of my first impression reviews, a lot of the things I do don't really make sense. They're kind of redundant. I do a lot of unnecessary layering of different shades, but I do that more so for testing purposes as opposed to actually getting a look. But if you're actually doing this look that I'm showing you right now, skip this step. You don't need to do it. But you can see it, it got a little bit deeper. It's a little bit more intense. They are a little bit close, but not bad. Anyways, probably didn't need both of them, but I'm being extra picky. It's fine. And then I had to also test out moss right here to see if it was different as well. Again, this is one of my unnecessary layering steps just to test. And you can see that that did change the color, but everything is blending on so beautifully. It's not too messy yet. Very, very nice. While we're here, I'm gonna take some of Moss and Underworld, those two shades I just used, and I'm just gonna run it pretty low along my lower lash line, like so. This Moss shade, so pretty, love it. Then kind of make sure all those edges are blended. We'll be doing this a lot. Time to start building. I'm using Decay right here, love this. So we get a little bit of powder, nothing crazy, but it's there. I'm using a Luxie 229 and I'm starting now with my official Halo Eye. Put that dark color in the outer corner and then in the inner corner. And then as per usual with these mattes, they're blending super easily, very easy to work with. Not like the most pigmented shadows in the world, but totally forgiving considering how easily they are to work with and then also actually this is making kind of a mess on my table so it is more on the powdery side but not bad at all run that along the lower lash line take your original crease brush and make sure everything is seamless so for more vibrancy we're going into this shade right here it's going to add like this blue green element to the look this is an olimar cosmetics detailed diffuser brush and since we're dealing with these darker shades, I've been so bad about <laughs> not prepping for fallout. So I'm just going to use this random piece of cardboard just to place the color down. So you can see that this color holds its own. A lot of times with brands, you'll notice that shades like these are really hard to work with, hard to blend, very patchy. Not the case with this. And that kind of changed the whole direction of the look. It added a more colorful element. And then also run that along the lower lash line. And then work out the edges. Now, when I was working out the edges, and I'm going to do this again, I was using some of Decay to bring back that more neutral mossy element to keep it from being so bright. We just have like a hint 
of brightness. And again, kind of get those edges. Okay, so when it comes to the shimmers, Odin's Eye is definitely best when used with a finger because they can not crumble, but you get a lot of fallout. They kind of require that warmth of your finger to press and work it in. So I'm gonna use my finger to apply to the center of my eyelid. When I did the other eye, I used a brush and it was like a mess. I don't really recommend that. So just consider that if you don't like to use your fingers, but you can see, did I even show you what color I'm using? I'm using Venom, <laughs> the craziest, wildest green color. And we're building that up. How pretty and vivid is it? The only thing I'll say about these shimmers is I do wish they were a little bit more creamy so that you wouldn't have to really press it in so that you don't get a mess and fall out. Cause I, even by doing that, I have a little bit of mess and fall out. Nothing crazy, but and I'm going to use a brush to kind of get in this area right here. Okay, let's add a little bit more depth. So I'm going into soot right here. Really fun shade this is. And again, I'm gonna get my cardboard just in case. And we're just doing this to make everything more smoky. And then also along the lower lash line, this color in particular as close to the lash line as possible because we still want the green to kind of bleed out. Now I'm taking some of fluorescence. Again, didn't do very well with a brush when I tried, so I'm gonna use my finger. And I'm gonna press this at the base center of my eyelid, like so. So it goes from lighter to darker. How pretty is this? And I love the contrast between soot and fluorescence. Looks beautiful on the eyelid, right? Okay, I'm gonna work on kind of blending the shimmer and the matte together. Final step, we're taking double sided with a Coastal Scents brush. Now this has like a warmer turn to it, which I don't love. You can see it turns more orange and I don't like it for this look. I wish it turned either really, really gold or really, really green, but whatever. We put it on, it's fine, it's gorgeous. Okay, and now I'm going to clean up the fallout because I never learned my lesson. And then just to keep everything looking super well blended, we're gonna go into that very first shade, Rebirth. And this is the look. It's absolutely beautiful, right? So I'm going to do liner lashes, finish the rest of my look. Now we'd like to give you my final thoughts on this. Just, oh, by the way, just for some looks for inspiration, as I was looking at this palette, I know I just played with the greens, I couldn't help myself, but you can totally do like a really fun purple pinky look with this corner down here or a smoky eye. Don't discount this half of the palette. I just only have two eyes, so yeah. Here's everything put together with the lashes, the liner, the lips, all of that. I mean, I'm obsessed with the whole get up today and I really, really do enjoy this palette a lot. Definitely it gets a thumbs up for me. Just keep in mind, some of the shadows might be a little bit more powdery. So maybe consider doing your face makeup last if you're more heavy handed or just tap off your brush and do what I do. Also with the shimmers, a finger is your best friend. It might get a little messy otherwise, but if if you enjoy the color story, you feel like this is a color story that you are going to use, oh, 100% go for it. It's so fun. You can totally neutralize the look by playing with this and the pinky tones down here. It's not gonna give you like neutral browns, but it will give you wearable, especially if you just use one to two shades on the eye at a time. But I still consider this palette to be pretty colorful. It is still out there. It is so beautiful. As always, Odin's Eye does a nice job with the quality. Angelica did a great job with the color story. So huge congratulations to you, Angelica. You created the most beautiful palette. Not that I was surprised. And huge thumbs up. Very, very happy they decided to add on to this collection. I hope they continue to do so. And that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.